I'm here in Queensway, just up down the road from Bayswater, outside the oldest department store in the UK. And it's not Selfridges or Harrods, it's in fact Whiteley. Now, Whiteley's was started up by a man named William Whiteley. He came from Yorkshire with the idea of having a huge department store that would sell everything from pins to elephants to everything in between. Now in the 1900s, this, this business took off amazingly well. He had 6,000 employees that were working here and he was known in high society for being a great entrepreneur and someone to look up to. Now, there was a lot of rumours going around that he undercut traders and he always made sure he had the profits rather than anybody else. So although the department store took off, not everyone was happy with him. It turns out that his wife was also not particularly happy with him when she found out that he had been cheating on her. It all came to a head on 24th of January here at this store in nine, 1907. A man named Horace Rayner ran into the store, shot William Whiteley twice in the head, killing him instantly, and then tried to commit suicide himself. When the police arrested him, he claimed to be the illegitimate son of William Whiteley and said that he was insane. Now, obviously he went to the Old Bailey where they were going to sentence him to death for his crime of killing William Whiteley. But a lot of people came forward to explain that William Whiteley was actually not a very nice man, that he had bullied his staff, that he was um, accused of undercutting everybody and that he was genuinely a bad person. So instead of hanging Horace Rayner, they actually sentenced him to life imprisonment. Now, whether or not William Whiteley was a bad man, it definitely doesn't deserve to be shot twice in the head. Now, this department store is obviously still going. He left quite a lot of money to his two sons by his wife, um, who continued to carry on the business for quite a few years afterwards. But eventually, they did sell it on. Um, but it's still here today as a reminder of one of the department stores and it's worth coming to have a look at even just for the lovely architecture which you can't see that much at night but it's worth it.